Welcome back, Canon Catholic. We are going to pick up... Ah, see? I didn't say so, like I always do. I'm trying to keep you guys on your toes. Uh, anyway, now, we're going to pick up where we left off. Well, I say that every time, too. Uh, pick up where we left off in class today. We're talking about the fall of Rome, right? Like, the reasons why Rome ends up falling, okay? Not like falls over like some kid in the hallway, but just falls. So, we talked about how the economy began to suffer and how their money and trade began to lose value, right? Now, usually one of the death strokes for any empire is when you can't make money anymore, right? So, <clears throat> and this is a big process that we'll talk about later when we get to the 1600s, when we talk about inflation and the Spanish economy and too much silver and all this other stuff. So, the price of food is also going to skyrocket. So, a lot of the, the Roman economy was affected very, very heavily. We also talked about how it was a time of invasions and things like that. And then Diocletian, this guy, comes along and does one of the stupidest things that you could have ever possibly done. To try and save the Roman economy and to try and attempt to find a way to get it to more of a stable position, he decides to split the empire in half, effectively creating, your excuse me, effectively creating in 284 BC the Eastern Empire and the Western Empire, right? Now, actually, at other times, it was split into like four pieces. But for now, for our sake, we're just going to say it was split into two, right? So, he divided the leadership of the empire, he led the east, and he allowed one of his trusted friends to actually lead the west, all right? Well, that did not prove salvageable, right? Because one, of the one half of the empire began to prosper, and the other half began to fall quickly, right? Now, this guy is going to come along a little bit later on. His name is Constantine, right? I'm sure you've heard of Constantine in your religion classes before. So, Constantine, another leader that came much later, made Christianity the accepted religion and helped the empire, like, stay alive, right? But remember, the eastern half is going to grow so large and so dominant that they actually don't even call themselves Rome anymore for a time period. But we're going to talk about that in the next unit, okay? So, Constantine declares Christianity one of the official religions and an accepted religion of the Roman Empire. Christian persecution thereafter ends, okay? So, even though Diocletian was one of the biggest persecutors of Christians out of everybody. Now, the big thing is, is Constantine also focused on the eastern part of the empire, now, continuing forward, though, Constantine moved the capital of the empire to Byzantium, which is a small city out towards Turkey, and actually renamed the city Constantinople, okay? So, in 395 AD, the empire officially split, okay? So, if early on under Diocletian, it was more of a governmental, provincial, bureaucratic splitting. I'll run this side, you run that side, we'll convene together to still be the Roman Empire, right? Well, under Constantine in 395, the empire becomes literally split in half and the east begins to grow while the west begins to die, right? So after the split in 395, what? I'm flipping, what do you want? What? I'm recording a video like, right now. You can see your face. Really? Yeah. Push it. Flash right now. Go away, Paul. All right, um, go. No, I didn't take him. I think he had him in his hands. All right, we lost some. All right, cool. All right. So continue where we were. That was Paul Sherry, by the way. Unfortunately. Now, anyway. So right here is a map following the official split of the Roman Empire, right? So over here we got the west, and over here we got the east. And right there is the division. Right straight through what you would consider the Balkans now, with Greece and the Balkans being in the eastern half, and then from Croatia over being the western half. Hmm. So, and then it's going to be a time of invasions, right? Not only did the Romans get invaded once already, but they're going to be pummeled in the late 300s and 400s AD, and they needed to escape tons of different people. The Huns actually started to attack under the guidance of a man named Attila, right? Attila the Killer. And then the Vandals was the tribe that attacked Rome in 406, right? That's actually where the word vandalism actually comes from now. Because the Vandals, like, sacked, destroyed, and then left Rome in ruins, as in to ruin something, right? So, but yeah, that's where the word vandalism comes from. It's from the Vandals in 406. Germanic tribes are going to invade again. They're going to take items, destroy monuments, and then to... 
there you go. Today, the word vandal means someone who purposely destroys another one's property. And by 500, actually write this year down. Don't write 500. And then circle this year like 100 times and then draw fireworks around it and then like a big heart or something. Because in 476 AD, the Ostrogoths, the guys behind me right there, right? So anyway, the Ostrogoths are going to sack and destroy Rome, leading to the empire falling apart and being split into several new kingdoms, right? So, boom! There we go. That's the fall of Rome, right? Pretty quick and painless, I guess. I don't focus too much on Rome's fall. I focus much more on the meat of the matter and the lingering aspects of what we've talked about. That's why we talked about their early establishment, their government, their... what else? Their empire expansion, their military aspects, their, like, their great leaders and their not-so-great leaders, right? Well, this is why they fell. And in the, next un or in the next area, we'll be talking about the eastern half, and as it began to grow and expand, we'll talk about how it eventually also is going to fall, but then also how Roman tradition was kept alive in the Byzantine, right? So, very, very good stuff today, Canon Catholic. I will see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy yourself. Hope you have a great evening.